Hey guys, it's Vince. In this video, we're going to cover configuration in Mach 3 for your G540 to trigger the relay that you've now installed in your system. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to config. We're going to go to ports and pins. We're then going to come over here to output signals. We're going to cycle down, and you can see I already have this set up. You're going to match these settings exactly. You can see output number one and output number two both have the green check box in there and basically what you got to do is just of course click on it and it'll turn them into a green checkbox. Port number will be on one. Pin number will be 17 for output one and output number two will be one. Now the G540 uses, utilizes uh, terminals five and six on its terminal block to trigger the relays. Um, so of course you'll, make, you'll have to make sure that the triggering signal from your relay is hooked up to the G540's outputs of either five and six on the terminal block. Um, once that's done, you'll click apply. Then you're going to come over here to spindle setup, and you're going to want to come over here to relay control, and you want to make sure that the disable spindle relays box is unchecked. Okay, if it's checked, it'll be grayed out like this. We don't want that because if it's checked, of course, it's going to disable the relays. Um, once you disable this, you will now be able to come over here and click on the spindle clockwise and cycle on. You'll hear a click. And that audible click, of course, is the analog relay kicking in, and it will switch on whatever device you're trying to uh, turn on, and cycle it on and off. So once again, you're all set there. There we go. We'll click OK. Of course, you're going to reset the e-stop, and you're all good to go. Thank you again.